What's up guys, I'm Luke. This is the Subaru Only Channel. Thanks for checking out the video. In today's video, we're going to install this camshaft in these cylinder heads. It's a cylinder head from a 2000 2.5 liter Subaru Forester, and it's a continuation in a build series that I'm doing where I'm replacing the head gaskets. It's a really common failure for these engines, and I thought it would be a great build series to do because at some point, everybody's got to do the head gaskets in their Subarus. If you'd like to see how the head gaskets are installed and how the heads are torqued down, check out one of my other videos because I walk you through all those steps too. All right. Let's get to installing this cam. Okay, so one of the first things you're gonna do when you're installing one of these camshafts is you're gonna lube up the journal bearings. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I talk about what the difference between the, the lobes and the journal bearings are. So if you have any interest in learning more about the journal bearings and the cam lobes and how they work and how they function in the engine, uh, check out one of my other videos for that. So in this video, we're gonna lube up the cam journals. There's actually four of them, one, two, three, and four. And we'll lube up the four journal surfaces in the cylinder head as well. Use some kind of assembly lube or 30 weight oil. I like to use Redline assembly lube, it's worked really well. So lube up the journal surfaces both in the cylinder head and on the camshaft, and then we'll drop the camshaft into the head. Okay, here's a close up of the camshaft. I'm gonna go ahead and lube up those journal surfaces. If you'll remember from my previous video, the journals are the ones that are perfectly round, and they actually have these little holes right here. I'll see if you can get a little close up of that. They have a little hole right, a hole right there and the slot where the oil will feed and then it'll create that, that low friction surface on the journal. So we're gonna put some assembly lube on these machine surfaces right here. All right, so you just put a little drop on on each one of these. So you just put a little drop on each one of these journal bearings. I'm gonna wipe it all over the entire bearing surface after I put it down. There's that assembly lube. Okay, so put basically just a good solid drop of the assembly lube on each one of these journals, and then I'll go over them. And don't worry if you get a little assembly lube on the cam lobes, that doesn't matter. The cam lobes will actually see a lot of oil too. You gotta make sure all these journal bearings are nice and lubed up before you drop it in the head. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Now I'll go over to the head and lube up the head. Okay, here's a close-up of the head. We'll use that red line assembly lube to go ahead and lube up those journals. Same thing, just put a little drop in. Just one solid drop. Just like that, one drop in each one of those journals. Lube it up a little bit. Don't necessarily need to get any lube inside the threads even though it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of oil on them. That's all the journal surfaces. Uh, one thing you'll know when you're putting these cams in the heads is that you have this little slot right here that's machined, but it's not machined smooth. So anywhere that's a rough machine surface, there's, it's not gonna be a journal bearing. The only, only the mach smooth machine surfaces, like this, 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 and this one, uh, are gonna be the actual journal bearings that you have to lube up. Okay, now that we have our journals and our camshaft, lubricated with some assembly lube, and we put some assembly lube in the journals in our head. We drop our camshaft into our head. It's pretty straightforward. If it's all lined up right, you'll kind of hear it drop in, and once you've assembled it, you should be able to spin freely in the head, like this. Spin around a little bit and make sure you get that uh, assembly lube and all the journal surfaces. Okay. So now the camshaft's in, and I'm ready to grab the camshaft cap, and I'll install the camshaft cap, and I'll start walking through the OEM shop manual steps for that installation process. Okay, this is what the camshaft cap looks like. And if you flip it over, this is the upper journal surface. So there's two things you need to do with your camshaft cap before you install it. You need to put some assembly lube on that upper journal surface, and there's four of them on these Subaru heads. And the second thing you're gonna to need to do is actually put in a bead of RTV in this slot right here, uh, and that's going to seal the camshaft caps. Okay, here's the camshaft cap, and I'm gonna use the RTV that came with the head gasket kit. Uh, it's a Felpro or a brand RTV. You can also use a Subaru brand or pretty much any brand RTV. I don't think it really matters too much, but it does help to have this little cone-shaped tip, uh, and then cut it off so you have control of the size of that bead. So the idea is you just work it around, getting kind of nice even bead in that little in that little groove. Even pressure to kind of work around. At this point, you just need to kind of take your time and be 
patient. Oh. I use two hands. I use my rear hand to kind of squeeze it from the back, and I use my front hand to kind of guide it. So I'm kind of resting my forearms on the table, squeezing with my rear hand, maybe doing a little more squeezing with my thumb, but mostly guiding it with this front hand right here and squeezing with the back hand. All right, so that's that side. Move over to this side. Just kind of slowly work it around. Now I'll just drop a drop, whoops, a little much on that, a little drop of red line assembly lube on those journal surfaces so that once the engine fires up for the first time, it's got plenty of lubrication on all the machine journals. Spread out your lubrication nice and evenly on those journal surfaces. Okay, so this camshaft cap is ready to go. Uh, we have our bead of RTV around both edges and we have assembly lube on all of our journal surfaces. So let's drop this sucker over the camshaft. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this camshaft cap over my cam and bolt it down to the head. Incidentally, I just looked it up in the shop manual and this RTV bead should be about three millimeters diameter bead according to the Subaru shop manual. Okay, so gently set your cap over your cam So try to install that cap gently and evenly straight down. It should kind of lock in place pretty evenly. And then after you've installed the camshaft cap, make sure your cam still rotates smoothly. If your camshaft doesn't rotate smoothly, then something's bound up in there and it's not laid down perfectly flat. After you verify that your camshaft cap is installed, uh, is laid down perfectly flat and your camshaft is still spinning freely, we'll go ahead and put in the first couple bolts. Okay, the first set of bolts are gonna be these little Allen head bolts. Uh, they basically use a 5 millimeter Allen head to tighten them down. Remember you have that RTV in there setting, so you want to kind of make sure you do this process kind of quickly. You don't have to do it, you don't have to get it done in 10 minutes or anything, but you don't want to leave it till the next day. Once you put that RTV bead on your cap, you want to install that sucker in the next hour or so and, and get it tightened down to the torque specs in the next hour or so. So I lightly, lightly, lightly by hand tightened it, and then now I'm going to tighten it in the specific order that it calls out in a, in a shop manual. Which, okay, next will be the valve rocker assembly, and I always like to put a little bit of assembly lube on this surface because these guys uh, rotate on this machine surface, and it doesn't hurt to have just a little extra assembly lube there. So I put a little assembly lube there, uh, put a dot, just one drop, it's always one drop, one drop right there. Just to get a little lube in there, not too much. Okay, so once you put a little bit of assembly lube on those rocker shafts, you'll pretty much, you don't need to worry about assemb uh, adding any assembly lube to this little slot right here, because this rocker shaft doesn't pivot in this, in this slot right here. These bolts go straight through, and that, this slot creates a, creates a cup to hold the shaft, but doesn't actually provide service where the shaft is spinning or rotating or anything like that. And align your rocker arms so they're kind of lined up at the tops of your valves on this side and so that this side is rolling on the camshaft, the rollers and you'll take your other rocker shaft and we'll install the next rocker shaft one little drop of assembly lube on that shaft where the rockers are spinning and rotating and gently just drop that sucker in Make sure all your bolt holes are lined and your rocker arms are all lined. Okay, it should drop right in like that. Voila. Okay, now that I've threaded them all down, I'm going to tighten them down with my torque wrench using the OEM shop manual. One thing I like to do is I like to mark all of the heads of my bolts when I have to tighten them down in a specific sequence. So for these, it's A, B, C, D. Okay, so uh, on this one, the bolt sequence is going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, which is pretty much tightening from the inside out. 
So I'll walk through that uh, sequence as I tighten these heads. Get my torque wrench out. According to the shop manual, these bolts will be torqued down to 18 foot-pounds. Okay, now following the sequence I uh, labeled on the bolts, use my torque wrench, and I'll go ahead and tighten these guys down. Here that little snap, that's 18 foot-pounds. 18 foot-pounds. Those rocker shafts are completely bolted down and torqued to specs. Okay, the next set of bolts are going to be these little bit larger bolts that go into the girdle or the camshaft cap that goes around the perimeter. They have that star pattern in it, kind of like a Torx pattern. All right, I got my little, I got my little bit with that little star pattern Torx bit on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a, it's a T40 Torx bit with that little star pattern on it. So I'll go ahead and set those in and tighten them down hand tight. And then these two will have a specific order called out in the manufacturer's manual, which will basically be from the inside out tightening. Uh, these guys, these outer perimeter ones, will get torqued down to 13 foot-pounds. Basically work your way around with your torque wrench and tighten from the inside out again in this order that it calls out in the shop manual to 13 foot-pounds. One, three. Wrapping it up here, the next set of these small Allen head screws again. Um, you basically add four more of them, kind of on the perimeter of the camshaft cap. One here, one here, one here, and one here. They actually don't get tightened up very much. They only get tightened down to 7.2 foot-pounds. Well, that's it. I put in the camshafts. I bolted in the rocker arms. We put in the camshaft cap. This head is done. Both heads are done. We're going to be moving on to the next step in the next video of assembling this Forester engine and wrapping this sucker up and dropping in the Forester. So thanks a lot. I'm Luke with uh, Subaru Only. If you like the video, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I'm putting out a video at least every week. Lately, it's been two or three a week and the videos are only getting better so if you think this video is cool i'll bet you the video in uh three or four weeks is going to be awesome and i bet you the video in six months is going to be fucking amazing and really appreciate it. if you have any questions please drop a comment and uh i'll see you next time thanks